Next up is our home page. Let's create the home page using the Angular CLI again. Each page of our application is going to be a component. Just like the header and the footer are components, our main overall application is a component. Our home page will also be a component. NGG component home. Nice. Updated in app module.ts as well. And we have our home page. Let's make sure we run ng serve since I think we canceled it in the last lesson. All right, so that's running. Let's make sure we can use our home page. Let's open up home.component.ts. We have app home is our custom selector. So we'll go into app component.ts, which is our overall app component, and we'll say app home. And we put this above our router outlet right below our app header. Save that. And what's going on here? Compiled successfully, save. This isn't getting updated. We have to refresh so that Webpack Dev Server knows that it needs to refresh that page. Okay, so we have app home. Home works. Very nice. Now let's go into our home page and actually build this out. So notice we're back in our template for our home.component. Now we can do anything we want here, right? We can write in whatever is on our homepage. But here, we're going to use Bulma's hero layout. So if we go over here, nav bar, let's go under docs, elements, or sorry, it's under layout, hero. Here is a default hero, a lot of boilerplates. Let's do this one right here. So we'll copy section, come back over, and we'll paste this right into the template. All right, so that's a lot of HTML there, but most of this is just Bulma classes to get good formatting. Hero is primary, gets us that nice colored background here. Hero body is how Bulma separates out the middle part. Container, make sure it's not full width. It is only constrained to a certain grid. And then we have title and subtitle, but let's just delete the subtitle and say my home page. So as soon as we save, our browser got updated. And here is our hero section. Now what's cool about Bulma is we can also say is bold, give it a little gradient. Little gradient there, you can say is full height. And that gets it to be full height. Now the next thing I wanna do is this is a little bit bland. Well, let's give this has text centered so we can center it. All right. And notice we're doing a lot of stuff here just with some pre-built Bulma classes. We don't even have to write our own custom CSS. And I think that's good when you're using CSS frameworks is you can kind of keep your CSS clean at the expense of a little bit more classes in your HTML. I think it's also helpful too, because if you pass this project off to another developer that you're working with, they can just go reference those docs instead of having to read through your HTML or your CSS and figuring out what is styling. Now, the next thing I want to do is add a background image to this because that's kind of how the websites are working these days. Giant header images, hero images. So we'll go to pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. And go ahead and pick a good one from your background, whatever you like here. I'm gonna pick this first green one. Free download, we'll download that. And then let's open folder. I'll rename this to green. And then like we did before, let's put this in our assets folder. So we go Batcave, my Angular site, source, assets. Oh, and under image is where we want it. Okay. Now let's use this in our HTML home components. Well, not in our HTML, actually. I wanna use this as the background image. And the reason I do that is because the background image will constrain itself to the width of this hero section. So under styles, let's do ES6 backticks, hero, background image is URL. And the cool thing about this is forward slash assets. We're doing everything from the source folder image canyon, sorry, green dot JPEG. And I have the EG in there. And let's make sure that's set to important to override Bulma's classes. Background size is cover. So we can go left to right. And background position is center, center. All right. So that works. Not bad. 
All right, so now we've used images in our logo as an image tag directly and as a background image. Now I wanna show you something cool about how Angular handles styles in our components. Now the cool thing about components is that when you build them, they should be completely compartmentalized that styles don't bleed out, JavaScript variables don't bleed out into other components. And that's what makes components so valuable is they are their own modular part of our application. So styles here, I just tagged the hero section, but what if we have other hero classes across our entire application? Let's take a look at right click inspect here and see what the Angular CLI did for us, what Angular does for us actually. So we have this custom attributes here, ng host CO, ng content CO, ng content CO. And what this means is that Angular is applying this attribute to our HTML. And if we look at this hero, hero, and we, this is what we added our background image to, notice it does hero ng content CO. So it targets that hero specifically, not any other hero sections, only this hero section in this specific component. And this way it ensures that this style doesn't bleed out into other components, makes it really helpful to make these components compartmentalized. Very cool feature of Angular. And that's gonna be it for our homepage. Let's move on.